I'm a professional R6 yapper and today we're diving into the year 9 season 1.3 operator patch notes and sorry that's just a patch note for the whole update because the brand new update came out today which means cheaters are hit offline for a day or two until they cheats get back up so we're gonna hop some champion soul q rank talk about the patch play these operators that have been affected and try to understand how these operators fit into the meta now and what the differences are uh, with the new situation of year 9 season 1.3 let's get into it i've been enjoying myself quite a bit with the console gaming lately i am still sick so i apologize i got a like a, a breath mint thing in my mouth right now what are they called the lozenges yeah i got a lozenge and balls deep in my throat just to make me feel better nothing like having something lodged in your throat to make you feel good about yourself am i right we're starting out on the defense here uh wait, wait, wait i was talking about console right yeah i've been playing console quite a bit starting my copper champ series on console console's fun i just find the gameplay doesn't look quite as nice it's not quite as beautiful and aesthetically pleasing as pc is let me know what you guys think about that like is it like i, I have this thing where i really don't like watching console gameplay especially my own because i'm atrocious on controller but hopefully we can pick up the pc mouse and keyboard uh like riding a bicycle here today so we're on the defense first who has been changed legion has been nerfed so legion's gadget refill has been increased from 20 seconds to 25 so it takes longer to actually get those goo mines now and the initial damage of the goo mine only does five damage instead of three this is a big change for legion he was an s tier operator one of the best defenders in the game, just very, very useful in pretty much every situation. Uh, he's also lost his impact grenades and gotten observation blockers instead. So that's also a massive change. And then impact grenades guess, themselves have been changed you. a ton. I'm just going to mute my team no, I, I real quick so I can yap about the patch notes. Um, we'll play Legion first. This is a really big change. I mean, he already has a super shorty, so he can still do the site setup and and all of that. The main thing is he's not going to be able to counter shields as well now. So with the impact grenades... What did they do? They reduced the damage from 60 damage to 40, and they also made the size of the radius 2 meters from 3 meters. So impact grenades not only make smaller holes now, uh, but the radius at which they'll damage people is also smaller, and the damage is less. So shields, just because of this, are going to be better overall because impacts are going to be less effective at countering them. However, the shield guard break from explosives, which is when that shield swings to the side when you impact it, has now been reduced to 30 damage from what was it 50 before oh so it looks like impacts make the exact same size rotate so the radius has decreased but the impacts still make the same size holes on walls interesting so i guess it's just the damage radius not the actual radius of the impact that's something i didn't realize i was thinking they would just make smaller rotates overall but i guess they didn't want to change the actual entire design of them which makes a lot of sense keeps it a lot easier but yeah, so if you do 30 damage from explosives, so the, the impacts will still guard break the shield. Their shields will still swing to the side off of the impact grenade. So they still work for that, but the overall damage that they actually do to the shields is less. And most of the time, what you're doing with those impacts is doing chip damage to those shields. So it's, it's a little tough because shields are already pretty annoying and pretty strong, and now they're going to be even more annoying. So I kind of feel bad for a lot of people that already hate shields, myself included. I, I feel bad for myself. What can I say? We're going to pop up on the Legion here. The observation blockers... I don't think they're that great. I'd rather just bring the bulletproof camera pretty much all the time. But I think it's fun to take a look at just like using the actual observation blockers when we can. I think blocking off the uh, freezer door would be good. I don't think this would extend all the way across and block both, so I'll just do one. Yeah, if I did in the middle, you wouldn't be able to block both. This is going to allow me to peek the skylight aggressively without them being able to see me. Oh, and it looks like they're already pushing in pretty way. There's that guy on the ticker repel. I'm just gonna run back. Throw a goo mine for that for information. Hop back over here. We'll dock through the operators as we play the rounds here. Starting off with the Legion. The Legion's still gonna be pretty good. I think overall, it's just the nerf he needed. He was a little too versatile and a little too strong in most areas. Not having those impact grenades is gonna be tough though. I'm feeling a push coming. They just drummed three times, called the Dokubi scan. I'm a little nervous. We'll pick that guy off real quick. Absolutely slam, man. I love this game. So much more on PC. It's just so much. It's just so much nicer. He's in freezer and freezer. This guy walked all the way in the site somehow. I have no idea how this guy got in. I think he made a train with his smokes and walked through the smoke train to get in. My teammate may have called that out. I have them all muted, so understandable. This lozenge is almost done. I'm just going to spit it out because it's kind of blocking my tongue from making beautiful words for you guys. Yeah, the past couple days, but we're getting better, you know? We're getting better. 
So, Legion, just a little less versatile. Still going to be a really solid up. I'd probably say he's still like an A tier operator. We'll have to play him a little more to actually know. I have him in the S tier on my tier list, so it's just taking him down a couple ranks, but he's still very, very strong. Especially because he still has that shotgun, so you can still drop out with the shotgun. You know, you can still make plays with it. You know, drop out on a roam through a hatch, make a rotate in the middle of the round. Still a lot you can do with, with Legion. Now, our next defender we have is Azami. There's some big Azami changes. Azami has been nerfed as well. Azami, one of the best defenders in the game, alongside Legion, you know. in At the start of the season, they took her Kibas, made it so you can destroy them with bullets, right? Everybody knows this change. This change basically did nothing, right? It takes so many bullets to actually destroy the Kiba barriers. So what did they do? They made it so you can break them faster with bullets. But by, not by a lot. By barely anything. It's only... 5% more damage with ARs and LMGs. It's only 10% more damage with uh, medium caliber SMGs and ARs. Sorry, my bad. Uh, the LMGs and the ARs are the high caliber ones. Um, so any high caliber rounds do 5% more damage. Medium caliber rounds, caliber rounds from SMGs and ARs is 10% more. And then high caliber rounds from handguns and revolvers is 10% more. So they just made it so like some subclasses of weapons do a little more damage and overall i think they're still gonna be tanking way too many bullets i think they need to boost that up by like 50 percent. i think these things survive way too long still um and we're gonna probably prove that this round if somebody tries to shoot them because i still think that they are kind of kind of like way too strong like that's an entire man and that thing is like about one third of the way to breakage i would say so, still going to be super strong. This basically does nothing, in my opinion. I think Azami's still going to be just as good as she was, you know, before the changes where you can actually break them with the guns because people still... I haven't seen this, like, actually be an effective strategy to just, like, mow down mag over after mag into these. Usually, I give up halfway. Usually, I'll, like, if I'm trying to shoot one, I'll shoot it, like, three mags into it and be like, all right, I got I to gotta do something else. I'm wasting all my ammo trying to break one of Zombie. It's not very epic, you know? Not a very epic moment. So let's see. Let's see if he tries to shoot this here. I'll keep playing my zombie. I'm chilling. It's a nice little angle, nice little pixel. The other thing we can do is throw one right here and just shoot their ankles when they push in. We're kind of covered by all the angles here. It's a nice hard breach. That's going to really make things a little tougher. I'm going to impact that if I can. I got one side, but I think he opened the other side up. I'm still safe here. I'm still chilling. Just got to be worried about the new hat shop, honestly. Surprise went back to the site. Reloading. Yeah, he did open that other side, as you can see. Just going to finish making this longer. Make it so I can see their feet even longer when they drop down here. He missed his ash charge. Beautiful Azami angle. He's completely exposed. Just my head. He has hit my head. I can shoot anywhere in the body. It sounds like one's coming white. Maybe I'm hearing things. Console audio got me tripping. I'm still going to hold this. There's still a lot of control. It sounds like there might be one shot. But again, I'm just covering myself from every angle, essentially. It sounds like he is coming new hatch. Oh, they're both there. Wow. Okay, they're just stacked up red stairs. I'm surprised that they were just sitting there for so long. I actually didn't make any noise. I didn't even know they were there. Those guys were just locking that thing down. So, yeah, moral of the story is I'm still super good. Uh, we got a few kills with her there. Very nice. Next up on the defender list of changes, we have Oryx, which is probably one of another the most useful useless changes ever. He can now dash through deployable shields and OSA shields. In what world are we Oryx dashing straight into an Osa shield? I guess it makes sense if there's no way of playing out you want to destroy it so they can't use it for later. But, like, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where it's like I could dash through this Osa shield. That's going to save the round. You know what I mean? So, I find it a little interesting. Um, we'll play Oryx still. I mean, just to play him. But, like, the odds of me actually being able to use this is low. I mean, maybe... Maybe it'll be a situation where I have to break. He could have stopped the plant. He could have stopped the plant. That's crazy. He shot through the wall. Saw the guy in the cart wall. That's too bad. Uh, he tried, though. Nice try. Nice try. Yeah, team's not really locking in here. Hopefully on our attacks, it goes a little better. I'm assuming we'll go kitchen this time. Another good site for a zombie. You can play a zombie on any of these sites if you were interested. Uh, but I'm going to go Oryx. Probably roam around a bit. 
Oryx is like very, very, very like weak right now. They just there's not a situation when you really need Oryx when there's so many other operators that are so strong and have such powerful utility. You know, you could bring Valk, Malusi, Tubro, Maestro, Echo, Wamai, Goyo, Azami, Solus, Aruni, Smoke, Mute, Mira, Legion. Like, all these, Capcan, all these operators who are just so, so good and provide so much utility for the team. And then you have Oryx who can run fast sometimes, you know, and like smash through a wall. Like, who cares? When is this going to be useful? You know what I mean? Whereas these other operators are like consistently useful round after round. So it's just like nothing's really motivating me to pick Oryx right now. I also hate this setup, by the way. I think this is horrible. Reinforcing off red every single time makes sense, unless you're holding whiskey and VIP. The only time where these head holes work is when you're holding VIP and whiskey, so that way you can sit and coat this room right here and hold the push into sight from here without being pushed from the other side. You can't hold the push into sight if they're pressuring you from this door or this area or they're coming down here, right? Most of the time, they're going to take this control and then use those holes against you, and it's not going to be good. So I would just recommend never making that unless you're playing competitively. It's a great com setup in competitive. Uh, for comp teams, but when you don't have any organization and you're playing ranked with an operator lineup like the one we have, opening those holes makes absolutely no sense. Put some barbed wire on this door for if they try to push in. I'm gonna go top floor. I mean, I can run around, attempt some oryx things, some oryx tings. Uh, the zero alone over here is kind of a crazy play. Looks like he's gonna maybe try to go into dining here. Absolute insanity by the zero. Typical zero moment right there. If you're not baiting, you're trying to enter, and your utility is just not suitable to do so. I don't even know where his zero cam went, but it's okay because it's not really doing much for them this round. These are the guys we're losing to, by the way. Xbox has made me more toxic, I swear, dude. People on Xbox, just it's just a different mentality over there. I'll be better for you guys. I think it's more the fact that I'm sick and have no energy. A lot of you guys are like, damn, toxic pox coming out on console, and I thought that was pretty funny. Because uh, it's like kind of true, but also like people are so terrible on console and think they're the greatest, so it makes me a little annoyed. Because it's like, dude, settle down. No need for the ego. It's not like I'm tell saying I'm way better than all my teammates or anything, which is not the point. It's just that people are just, they're just so hateful, you know? Like, I would never be hateful towards my team. That's my teammates, dude. Just riles me up if you block like that. All right, another big frag. I mean, the thing that Oryx is really good at is, like, retreating from situations. Like, this guy's in bakery. I can shoot at him and then run back to site, right? So I can kind of get that retreat ability. He has a great gun, and, like, basically the way you're playing Oryx is just to, like, go and try and find kills. And it really does set you in, like, a focused mindset where you're like, okay, I'm going to go kill people, you know what I mean? But anyway, we're on the attack now, and it's one of the saddest changes of the entire season. Yana has lost her flashbangs and now has EMP grenades instead. I'm going to use EMP grenades just for, um, just for like the fact that she has them now. Uh, but I think I will be using Yana smoke grenades when I do play Yana, just because the smoke grenades still have sort of the capabilities that the flashbangs have, where you can smoke off one angle, push another one, or you can use the smokes to actually make aggressive plays if you need to. Whereas the EMP grenades, that does kind of turn her into more of this support-esque operator where she can support her team, right? You can go to the breach, EMP the breach, and then use that infinite clonage for information on the site to actually uh, work with your team to make a play now, rather than doing it yourself with the flashbangs. So this is actually a massive change because flashbangs are so so strong and the fact that she's lost them it does take away some of her individual uh playmaking abilities and her individual solo queue power so is yana still the so best solo queue operator in the game i'm sad to say probably not um she she could be you know with the smoke still but i just think like I don't know, because she still does have so much information, which is a very, very important thing in solo queue. I just think she doesn't fit every single situation as nicely as she did before. So I think she's lost a lot of her power, but I'm still a Yana lover overall. So that's cool. We don't even have a hard breach. I, the, the only thing I'm going to be using these impact EMPs for is like a Malusi maybe, or like some sort of trap denial, sorry, or trap info, and then pushing in off of it. We'll see. We'll see what we get up to. Okay, I'm going to shot in the back. Man, not only is my team getting wiped by the other team, but they're shooting me too. W teammates, W gamers. Um, I'm not bad. I'm just trolling. I'm pranking, guys. I'm pranking. We also have two other attackers that have been changed that we'll talk about in the next two rounds. Hopefully, if we can make it to the next two rounds. We have at least one more round guaranteed, but we'll have to win at least one of them in order to get another round in. So this guy in Cocktail. We got the hatches open, which is nice. 
I want my clothes recharged and I can do a little droning around. Looks like they're not setting up shop too much, so I can actually take this pretty easily. E impact EMP the beeper and push from new. This could actually work really well. I'm going to try it. And that did not work at all. That was actually kind of stupid. Turns out there was another uh, beeper. We actually got the trade on this mug, so I'll actually take it. Good shit, team. I guess we had a guy in the window. I'm not here to make smart plays, boys. I'm here to talk about the patch notes. And uh, with the brain fog I'm experiencing from being sick, I'm, I'm just happy I made it here. You know, I was finding, I was so bored, dude. I'm so, I hate being sick because I'm so bored. I sit there and watch TV. And my body hurts. And I would rather just be, like, having fun. You know what I mean? So I decided, to say, hey, let's just go. Let's go talk about the patch notes. Let's go have a good time. And so far, so good. I'm having a good time. That's the goal. Swole is the goal. Size is the prize. Let's get active. Um... Speaking of being swole, use uh, code POX for 10% off control products. And right now, you can get 20% off if you bundle your products together. And then an additional 10% off with code POX. It's actually kind of epic. Uh, I smashed two protein cookies today because I was too lazy to make food because I have no energy. Team's actually kind of locked in here. They're like, actually like kind of getting shit done. Let's go, boys. Hell yeah. So we got a great attack. We have two more attacks on the on the verge here. Oh, we've got to play impact grenades. Hopefully, we can get to OT so we can actually run some of those new impacts and see how that damage fall off or damage reduction actually works. I guess with the size increase on them, it's not going to make a big difference, which I'm happy about. Um, I don't know why I kind of expected that. Like, I expected them to just, like, change this, the size of the actual... Because the radius changed from 3 to 2 meters, but it's just the explosive... Like, the damage radius, I guess, not the actual explosion radius. It does say on the patch notes, reduce explosion radius to 2 meters, but I guess they meant damage radius or the damage of the explosion uh, because the physical explosion, how it how it interacts with the map is the exact same. All right, Sense is next up. Sense, uh, worst operator in the game, probably. Okay. Like, bottom three, absolutely, for sure. So bad. Just because of the fact of how inconsistent that fucking gadget is. It's like, we talked about this on stream the other day. It's like rolling a dice. It's like rolling a dice... And just hoping that they work properly because most of the time they just don't work how you'd expect them to. It's the most unintuitive gadget in the entire game. It's like, it's like, you know how old people really like Apple products because they're very intuitive and very simple. And they're like, oh, iPhone. But then you give them an Android and they are like, what is this sorcery? And they're just so disoriented. That's what playing sense is like. Except you can never get used to how disorienting that mobile phone is. But anyway, they've changed it from three to four of the projectors, so now you can roll that dice four times over and be confused how it didn't work uh, an extra time now. I remember I, I tried it out since again the other day, and I threw a projector, and it rolled off a wall, and there was just a gap in it for literally no reason. There was no mute. There was nothing. It was just the way it rolled. There was just a space in the wall, and it, that's how I died. So annoying. Anyway. Sense, you know, has a great gun, has grenades. Honestly, I think Sense is better if you just don't use a gadget at all. Or you just throw it like this to just, like, distract them off rip. Maybe this will be good, you know? We just throw some in the sky that they think we're planning or something. They're not going to. You know why? Because it makes no sound. They don't give a fuck. This go-yo would have been great if it was put up a slight bit higher. Now, I can actually do that exact same thing and just hop and fight this cocktail guy. He's not even in there. Where is he? He is there. I see him. I'm actually going to try this. Let's try to make a sense play. All right, sense, sense goaded. I can plant. They have a pulse though. Excuse me a little bit. There's the C4 though, so I should be chilling. They have a souls as well. All right, and I lost my gunfight. Probably should have won that one. Honestly, not a bad play. Honestly, not a bad play. They had like hardly anyone on site. They had souls and pulse underneath, I'm assuming. If I kill that zombie there, I probably still can't plant. Uh, if they didn't have Pulse and Solus, I would have 100% planted Cocktail there, but just because they have the information on me from below, uh, at least I'm assuming, because both these operators are very, very strong from below, um, so I decided not to plant, just because I was thinking they would probably do that, and they did Pulse miss a C4, just because I started moving around a lot, which uh, was probably the right call, but I just lost my gunfight, which is tough. If I'm not sick, I win that 99 out of 100 times. Just so you know, just so you guys know, just not making excuses, just saying I'm the best, not making excuses, just saying I'm the best, facts are facts, I can't control the facts, okay? Don't get mad because I'm the best, get mad because you suck, okay? Uh, I have no fucking clue what my team's doing, Bravo's doing absolutely nothing down here. Oh, he, he, oh, he caught a rotate, he did catch a, ro catch a rotate, hell yeah. Alright, now it's winnable. A zombie's one shot, a zombie's uh, one shot by the way, like 30 HP. 
Okay, Glass stressing me out. That's cool. Glass is so... Bravo's got to go. Yeah, there's one freezer, Bravo, if you want to push up on him. The other one's in Pillar. You know four last operators standing. Sounds like he's flanking red. Flanking red. Flanking red. Come and shop. I don't know. what My team is a little bit lost in sauce. The user is now secured. Might come through piano. I can call your long bar. Sounds like long bar door. Yeah, he's, he's walking in. He's uh, on long bar. Freezer door. Freezer door. Can't see him anymore. I'll call him out. He's walking up long bar. Second freezer door. It's cocktail now. Cocktail. He's already crossed, bro. He's already crossed. This Bravo angle is horrible. He's not even protecting the bomb whatsoever. He can't stop. He's defusing. It's a bait. It's a bait. There we go. Bravo has to push back up Whitehall here. Oh, and that right. Warden just going for a tour, I guess. Good job, team. All right, they ended up ca catching the W on that round. We'll take that. W teammates. You know, sometimes they make smart plays, and sometimes you make dumb plays that works. And there we go. I'm just on a roast spree today, I guess. <laughs> Just my evil alter ego comes out when I'm sick, dude. I just hate on everyone. Yeah, fuck you. You suck, man. Yeah, you all suck. Look at you. You're only here because you got boosted by cheaters, clearly, because you all suck. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, it's nice that there's no cheaters, you know? It's actually very possible that many of these players were boosted by cheaters. Um, just because there is so many cheaters that play this game that people just get boosted. All right, last attacker that we have is Nock. And this is what I believe to be the worst and most useless change of the entire patch now, okay? Knock, another one of the worst operators in the game. And, I mean, just give her a silence setback, dude. Give her a silence setback and she's fine, you know? With the grenade nerf and the fact that the FMG, they added recoil to it one patch as well where they made the FMG worse. So her gun is, like, one of the worst guns on the attack. The grenades are nowhere near as strong as they used to be. And she doesn't have silence type anymore, so her ability is practically useless. Ross is coming in for a, he wants a seat. Yeah, come on, buddy. You can get in here. So what do they do? They're like, oh, we got to buff Nop. What do we do? We got to make her a bit better. Don't want to make her too strong, though. Don't want to over buff her, right? So what should we do? Well, we should reduce the duration and the cooldown to 30 seconds. So your ability now lasts 30 seconds instead of 20. But then the cooldown is also 30 seconds Five instead seconds. of 20. So I'm just like, why? This has... Quite literally achieved practically nothing. She's got buffed and nerfed at the same time. To put her at a point where it's like, okay, now you can maybe be a little more quiet because you can move slower because you have more time. But at the same time, then you have to wait longer. So using her ability is counter, or it's like counterproductive at the same time. So it's just like, you have to be a little more, uh, I guess, like calculated with her ability because the cooldown's longer. But you can also take your time more. But also it really doesn't change much overall. She's still very weak, so. I don't know. I could like walk through pillar. It's about all I'll get out of a gadget. Think about hopping in this window. There's a guy bakery. I'm just more concerned about somebody coming from red. This one Lucy is about to die. Let's get active. I didn't tell this gun sucks. I just want to make sure that Lucy is still there so I don't get pushed up on. She is still in coat. Let's do it again. Oh, I bounced off the drone. The nade bounced off the drone. Wow, that is insane. You don't have a lot of options with knock. You got to use the nades to make plays, and that's about all you can do because her gadget is literally not achieving anything. I could have went white maybe and walked up white, but again, they're just going to hear me. If I try to sneak up white and kill a guy that's maybe whiskey bar, and I'm sneaking past the camera with my knock sensor, the guy in whiskey is just going to hear me walking up the white hallway. Like, he's going to know. So it's like, what's the point of the ability if, if you, they still have the information on where you are? You know what I'm saying? Yes, the information is in pinpoint. But it's so niche that where it's actually useful, like maybe you're walking around in the NFL cam, but they can't pinpoint it. You're planting the bomb with your scanner on, so they don't know where you're planting exactly, but they can kind of have a rough idea because of the sound of the camera. Like, I don't even know. They can't see for you perfectly through the floor of the Valcam because they don't know. I'm so, like, just shocked by the way this brow. Like, he's been sitting on the top floor for two minutes. I have no idea what his plan is. It just seems like he never really has a game plan, you know? Oh, but he just knows. He knows, he knows where Malusi's at. That's all that matters. He doesn't have a game plan, but it doesn't matter because if you don't know what you're doing, they don't know what you're doing, and then they, you constantly surprise them, right? Let's see if he can take out another one. He does hear one whiskey, I believe, or maybe he's hearing him through the holes in sight. I don't know what he's holding because there's... This is white hallway, and I don't believe the breach is open, so I'm not sure why he's... Like, what he's looking at, but hey, to each their own. Looks like we're going to OT. We can run some impact grenades. Hell yeah. Um... I guess we did run a zombie with the impact grenades. Oh, actually, that makes a lot of sense because I threw an impact through the through the hole. So that's the other thing about impact grenades, which I forgot to mention, is 
impact grenades, because the explosive radius is reduced, you're not going to be able to impact trick as well now. You're not going to be able to throw the impact over the wall and break a thermite charge like you would before. Uh, with ace charges, you still can kind of, but you have to be more precise, uh, right? Because you've lost 33% of your effective range with that explosive. So it's going to be a lot harder to do now. I think we run the sense back. I have no, absolutely no appeal to run knock again. Um, after just these two rounds alone, I would say sense is like, sense is better than knock. But like, knock is so bad. Knock is like so bad. It's insane. Like, there's just no situation where she's actually useful, you know? I, I might be sitting here yapping and complaining, but I just want you guys to understand that this is a bad operator and you shouldn't play them. Why would you play knock when you there are so many good attackers in the game? Why play knock? Why play knock? Be honest. Tell me in the comments. Just kidding. All the comments will say, yeah, knock bad. You right. Yeah, no, I actually like knock for um, jerking off in the corner without anyone seeing. And hey, fair enough. Fair enough. If you are doing that with knock, that's actually kind of a power play. I can't lie. Do I even play sense again? Is it even worth it? Or do I just try to win this game? That's the question. Let's play a shield. Shields are going to be better now. Um, we'll pop on a shield. I would play Monty just because I think Monty is the superior shield up right now. But we'll hop on the Blitz because somebody's already on Monty. So I can't pick him, you know? All right, we got the Cade. We got the Castle. I think taking Bake here with the Blitz is a good play. We can use the Smokes to like, block off lines of sight, run a train on him, and then get active. Uh, they do have the Wamai, I believe, holding Bakery last time. Uh, they don't right now, but I'm hoping one of my Yeah, they do have the Wamai. Okay. So because they have the Wamai, the Smoke Grenades probably won't be effective. But I can just run past all the utilities since they don't have Trap Ops. I should be able to just run past. Wamai does have the impacts, but I should be chilling. Because, uh, remember... Hold up, hold up. Impacts do less damage, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to die, but I want to pick up my teammate. Alright, power play. Lil Uzi Vert, we need you. Sorry, Lil Fuzzy Vert. Oh no, he lost 30 seconds of time. Now he's going to be on the top floor until 30 seconds left. Alright, if we get him on the bake door, we're chilling. Monty is in there. I'm going to get active with him, I think. Monty, get active! Oh shit. Dang. Monty tried. Monty tried. I <coughs> uh, probably should have smoked. Probably should have done. That was just literally just the stupidest play I probably could have done. But you know, I'm not here to win. I'm here to get active. And have a good time. I'm here to have a good time. I already told you guys I was bored. I want to run at people with blitz. Shame on me. Am I right? Shame on me. Okay, I'll, like... It's fine. It's fine. Dude, it's fine. Like, can we not roast me for once, dude? I'm just trying to hang out. I don't care. I know I turned my back to Umai, and I know I could have played it smarter. I know I could have played it more patiently and actually played it well, okay? But do I want to do that? Not really. I don't really care right now. I, I don't incur right now, dude. All right, let's play... Uh, I mean, we could run the Azami back again or the Legion. Let's play the Legion again. We, we'll run them with the actual BP camera so we can show how to actually use them with the bulletproof camera. I know I said I was going to play impact grenades, but then I realized it's fine. I'm not going to impact grenade anyone anyway, and we'll just play a shield op on the next attack too, and we'll see how that goes. Secure the bombs. Shield ops just make me want to go crazy, and that's... What's wrong with that, dude? What's wrong with that? Uh, sometimes it's fun to go a little crazy, you know? Go crazy, go stupid. I'm going to throw my uh, good mine under the window so we know if we hop in there. I can't get on the table, but I want to. And then we can throw our BP up here. It's giving me info for all of Red Hall. Very strong BP. A lot of people don't even notice it. And they have the vault on the table to actually break it. Wait. No, they don't. I'm so stupid. Anyway. A lot of people don't notice it, so it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we can use these holes to kind of like contest bakery. Maybe throw a good mine on there as well. Uh, I am going to reinforce this off again. As you can tell last time, we had absolutely nobody over here that was actually going to play these holes, and they would be completely useless and only give an advantage to the other team. So, boom, get rid of it. Yeah, I mean, it is good for, like, if you're in sight holding red stairs, I guess. Like, that's the, uh, the situation where it kind of works as well, but we're not doing... We're not, we're not holding any of this, so it's just... It's just not looking good for us if we... If we keep that open. And as you tell, they're actually pushing this side this time. I'm going to just start over here, shoot a couple drones and contest it. Probably throw a gear mine over there on the window. Okay, I'm going to get out now. I'm getting heavily droned. Observation blockers might have went hard here. But what I can do is use that BP to actually EMP those, those cameras. Getting tracked by Deimos, which is not a great time. 
I don't know where he's at, so I'm just keep running in circles. Looks like he's white side, so I am chilling. Hopefully they don't just walk into sight on me. That would suck. They might try to nade me, but I'm pretty safe here. I'm just gonna try to lock the site down. My teammates are getting slaughtered. Oh my god, that was close. I got to get off my... I don't want them to hear me right now. I got to make a play, and I can't do that if... I'm going to jiggle this just to make it think that I'm in it. I need is insane. I actually kind of nuts. Off angle right here. He should have peeked off that nade. That really forced me out. That was a good nade. He just didn't play off of it properly. One friendly operator remaining. He's on the bakery. I don't think he's coming through sight. I'm gonna hold bakery off this angle. If I get smoked off it, so be it, dude. Now they will scan him if he comes to my left, but he has an LMG, so I'm gonna get pinned down in this corner. This is an angle that's heavily favored towards me. See? I can see his feet. He can't see me. That's an angle you want to hold all day. You can see them, he can't see you. That's an angle we want to peek. The only situation he can see me is if he peeks really close on the wall. And even then, I have a better angle because of perspective. If he's peeking really close to the angle, I'm going to see him before he sees me. So no matter what he does in that circumstance, I'm going to have the advantage in that fight. So I'm going to take it every time. All right, let's hop on the Monty this time. Also so that my teammate doesn't pick him, but that, that's nice. Uh, having a Finca would be great. I'm just going to type Finca in the chat. Someone wants a player. Hell yeah. If they don't, whatever. Um, Finca is just going to be even better now because the impacts don't do as much damage. And you're going to still have the same amount of healing from the Finca. So shield Finca combo, even stronger now. Absolutely nuts. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the patch notes. Azami changes, Yana changes, Legion changes, Nox changes, Orc changes, Sense changes, Impact Grenade changes, and then shields having the guard break only 30 damage from 50 now. Uh, for explosive damage so whether it's a c4 or an impact grenade it'll take less to actually swing that shield to the side but overall i do think shields are stronger um post patch let's say but we'll have to wait and see like maybe i'm completely wrong maybe that maybe that 20 damage guard break is actually like actually really changes the game we'll, ha we'll have to wait and see you know maybe it'll just be way easier to fly that shield to the side and actually get some kills with on him um I don't know. I'll try to clap some cheeks here in this final round. I'm 10 and 6 right now, which honestly I can't complain. I can't complain. Solid. Uh, especially with like the, <laughs> the bot gameplay I've been I've been having here today. Uh, I am very happy to be back on PC. I love playing PC. I, I just love PC Siege. It's a it's a completely different game in my opinion. Um, just the way it feels overall. It's just it's just so different. Uh, the pacing, everything. So it does suck that the cheaters are ruining it, but. I will still be playing uh, console, trying to get to the champ on console. And also, I've learned a lot from playing console siege, you know? I think I can give a lot better information when I uh, have, like, have first-hand experience in, in, in the situation, right? Opening these hatches would be poggers. I'm going to drone first, just to see what their setup's actually looking like before I walk into it and get absolutely plowed. I don't want to die to any trick plays. Could go hunt down the soulless, but it's going to be risky with all the... Uh, shit they'll have in pillars there's a guy in shop honestly hopping in the skylight might not be a bad idea if i was not on monty i would go to the repel the cocktail repel right now um and it looks like i have no real teammates to push behind me and i'm kind of worried about this soul is flanking i'm gonna drop anyway i think the smoke is the guy that died i'm just gonna walk into sight so there's this guy in cocktail Nice play from the boys. Okay. I'm going to drop the diffuser for the Solus. And good shit team. All right. Got the bomb down. Last one's the Valk. I just got to plant this and stay up. Never mind. Okay. I was not going to finish the plant because if I died and she killed me and diffused, I would have been the biggest blunder of a 5v1 I've ever seen. So I want to make sure I got off that so I didn't do that. And we won the round. Hell yeah. GG's, boys. Uh, there won't be any part two to this, but hopefully you enjoyed. And... Uh, I don't know. I don't know when I'll upload next. I'm just throwing out uploads 
because I have no clue what's going on. Uh, I've lost my entire line of thinking. Uh, see, you see you next time. See you next time, boys.